In this video, guys, we're gonna look at one of my first awful trading strategies. Stay tuned. Hey guys, following on from a previous video where I was answering a question from a US citizen who made a comment on a video. He asked me, or he or she asked me, not sure, what was my first trading strategy that kind of got a bit of traction? I talked about that, go and check that one out. So in kind of the same theme, I thought, hmm, there was a couple of strategies at the beginning, you call the strategies you like, that really weren't that great. I wanna talk about this one specifically because you'll see in a moment why. Okay, so. I'd started trading, I'd started trading a little bit more actively, day trading. Um, I pretty much was just a, a, a absolute perfect punter to the brokers because I just steadily lost money systematically after as soon as I opened an account and just chewed through money like it was sweets. I had no strategy, I had no plan, I had nothing. So I went off and I think I went on like a little mini one day course. I went on, read some books, I kind of got the information in. And it was this charting, I can't remember if it was a book or if it was a program or something, and it showed basically um, the stochastic strategy, right? And something we talked about a little bit on this video before. You've got your stochastics, as price goes up, you've got overbought, you go oversold, overbought, oversold, overbought, oversold. And I saw this and I thought, wow, this looks great. I've got a strategy at last. It looks great on paper. You know, you just go short when it's overbought, uh, overbought. you go uh, long when it's oversold, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And there were a few nuances to that there was the uh, kind of divergence play and etc you know the textbook stuff that you find out when you first start trading so I, I kind of pegged it home got doing and I just got looking back at the charts and going oh yeah that'd be a winner that'd be a winner that'd be a winner great I'm going to use that and so I remember trading I think it was FTSE 100 futures pretty sure it was something like that anyway and went to the first time it was overbought went short carried on and going up carried on going up stop me out oh, all right okay you know Try again. Wait for it to go oversold. Went oversold. Right, it's oversold now. Um, we're going to bounce back up. Let's go long. Of course, it goes low and stops me out. So, after a few attempts of getting jab, 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 winning a few, looked at it and thought, this is a losing strategy. Why is this not working? When I looked at it on paper, it looked so great. The examples looked so great. And then I started to kind of realize this isn't a profitable strategy on its own. This doesn't work on its own. Look, if you take every single time the market is an overbought condition, you're gonna lose money. If you take a, a, a short, if you take a long every time it's oversold, you're gonna lose money. Look at this, and I, and I kind of, this was my first, if you like, push into price action. Price action trading, which is something that obviously is a big thing for me now. But it was this kind of point where I went, okay, you can't just use indicators on their own. And I talk about this a lot, guys, um, in videos, in, the, in my program, all this kind of stuff of, you can't take something on its own. You can't just take this. This is effective under certain conditions. The big mistake that I made is to think that this would work every single time it happened. It, majority of the time it doesn't, but in the right conditions, it's super, super powerful. It's about looking what's happened before, how the price has got to this. What's the price doing? Is it a range bound condition? You've got more chance of it working. Is it a trend condition? You're gonna get screwed. Unless you take the first kind of oversold in an uptrend, then it's different. So you're starting to adjust and adapt the indicator for the conditions. And that's where I'm completely wrong. I took this, uh, kind of hindsight cherry pick charts that were up there and they look great and then I tried to replicate that in the real world and I just got my head completely cleaned off and then I thought right I've got to go back to the drawing board and kind of work my own strategy out and there's a video on that where I talked about this second tier strategy again based on price action based on kind of thinking right what's happening who's on the other side of the deal all the kind of stuff that I that I talk about and cover and so this was my first awful strategy. I was so bullish about this. I remember being so excited about this. That I thought this was it. I cracked it. This stochastic. I remember th seeing the word stochastic and thinking, that even sounds good. I can trade stochastic. It sounds good. But then realizing that, hey, it's not as simple as that. Uh, I didn't really twig at that point how to implement it successfully. All I realized is that if I did it every single time, I'd lose money. And I kind of shown that really with just losing money by taking this. It was only later on that I kind of went, okay, 
I've got a plan now, what indicators can I use to get into that plan? And that was that first kind of counter trend trade pullback. What indicators can I use to judge that? Oh, I know, I'll use that stochastic because that'll tell me oversold, first oversold after a trend. Great, I can use that as a guide. Then, you know, you start thinking, well, actually it is useful, but under the right conditions. And I, and this is something that I think, uh, if, you, if you're a subscriber, appreciate your support, by the way, you know, that is what I talk about is, okay, indicators are useful under certain conditions. The challenge comes with picking the conditions, I get it. The challenge comes with knowing when to use them, but if we can align ourselves often with when they're at the most powerful, then they become valuable. Otherwise, they should become a hindrance. Like this, like me, all those years ago, um, 15 years ago, was it now? Or that a long time ago? Trading away this, giving away money by thinking that this was the holy grail strategy when it wasn't, when actually, probably if I picked when I was using it in the range banner environment, the right conditions, all the kind of stuff I've talked about, then it would have been a useful strategy. But it's the learning curve, isn't it, guys? We've all got to go through it. So that was my first, or one of my first awful strategies. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to talk through some more uh, in future videos. Anyway, guys, take care. Bye bye.